with a look at how the attacks are affecting travelers in Central Florida. Security is on high alert at Orlando International Airport, as Orlando is a very popular destination for travelers from around the world. News 6 reporter Nadine Yanis is at OIA. She joins us now live. And Nadine, you've been talking to passengers. They are telling you it's feeling harder to feel safe after something like this happens. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's because one of these attacks in Brussels happened in an airport lobby, similar to where I'm standing here at OIA, where a lot of people gather, but nobody's actually gone through security yet. So those travelers that I spoke with say they fear that there's nothing that they could really do when an attack like this happens. Well, that's where airport officials say on top of their added security, this is a chance for you as a traveler to be vigilant. Inside the Orlando International Airport today, you could see more TSA agents scrutinizing passengers, more Orlando police officers keeping a watchful eye, and even a federal canine sniffing for explosives. Officials say they've added more security you can see. I just told my daughter, look at all of the increased security. And some security you cannot. Bringing some comfort to worried travelers and their mothers like Connie Hoggrief. On the same day, there were attacks at a Brussels airport and a subway station, leaving dozens dead. So sad, so sad. I was just telling my daughter that, you know, 28 people so far have died. And um, it's, it's just very frightful. And um, I'm very afraid for for us over here in America. But Orlando airport officials say they don't want travelers to be in fear, instead to be alert. Just last month, the airport added this new message for passengers, if you see something, say something, which is the same thing Florida Senator Bill Nelson said today. If you see something, say something. Uh, this is the world in which we live. And the threat of terrorism is going to be with us. The senator was in Orlando visiting a research park hours after the attack happened. Our hearts, our prayers go out to all of the victims. And uh, this is uh, just the times in which we live, and we've got to be vigilant. So Orlando International Airport officials say you've got to give yourself extra time if you're traveling. This is a busy week for them. They have spring break. We have Easter weekend. And a lot of people are vacationing here. I actually spoke to those people who may be hitting the theme parks. They say they have a concern for their safety at the theme parks as well. Well, we'll address that concern coming up tonight at 6. Live at the Orlando International Airport, Nadine Giannis, News 6.